ladies, gentle bitches, gentle pros, non-binary hoes. Today we're diving into, I believe, debut album from Miss Abelium Eilish, entitled, When We All <laughs> Where Do We Then Go? That's what I'm talking about, dude. And I do realize I am kind of doing this entire thing backwards. First, we listen to Happier Than Ever, and then we listen to, I believe, The 30th, and the other one that was in there. I kind of I forgot honestly about that one. But anyways, we're now here at the precipice, diving into the quintessential, what I've been told, Billie Eilish album. 14 songs, 42 minutes and 55 seconds, executively produced by, yes, the one and only, Finney Oss, bro. <laughs> Let's get into it. The first track is titled, I Can Only Assume. <laughs> or something of the sort. So I don't know if this is gonna be like really loud. Should I turn my headphones down or should I turn them up? I don't really, I don't really know. I'm, I'm gonna hope for the best. Oh, ASMR. My Invisalign has, I have taken out my Invisalign. Oh. Was... oh. <laughs> what? Oh fuck, it's only 13 seconds. I didn't even, I didn't even realize it was only 13 seconds. Wait, this is, okay, I've seen this, I think I've seen this on TikTok, but is this her taking out her Invisalign? Just ASMR style? Wow, honestly, I don't know a, a better introduction because that does kind of symbolize a little bit of like how she sings and how they produce their songs, the compression It aspect. is not that deep, bro. Okay, I know, I'm already kind of looking way too deep into it, but hold on, let me let me hear this slurpage again. Charlie Puth be like, ah oh, yes, the slurp was in. F major, I can, ah, uh, right there. I'm taking out my Invisalign, and this is the album. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and right into bad guy. Ooh. Ooh, and the little minor, yes, yes. It's off white, but it's close. I am. honestly been removed from bad guy for like I would say a pretty long time it's still super duper catchy it uses this like classic chord structure of like going from the one to the four to the five and kind of doing it in that like classic I don't even know what to call it what the actual like term is but it's just so catchy bro and like the way that all of the little vocals slide in especially with the aesthetic of like being the bad guy what what she's saying let's listen we'll dissect lyrics later I like it when you take control what when I take control. Oh. Oh. The control. Whoa. Whoa. I. I don't even remember the second verse. That is criminal. That is, I am criminal. Lock me away for not knowing the second verse. Mommy likes to sing along, but she won't sing this song. <laughs> I would hope not. That'd be a little awkward. Uh, if she reads the lyrics, she'll pity the men I know. Dude, kind of a little bit like meta, like from the perspective of her mother. Just don't, oh man, that's, uh. Duh. Duh. Uh. Oh man. Oh, the stutter vocal. Forgot. 
pretty glad I feel like I should be doing push-ups at this time. I, that's just, I just feel like that's just appropriate. I mean. I'm just kidding, this is easy. Easy, bro, I can do it one-handed, check it out. What is it about? Ah! I am sore, I am manly. I'm just on that swole gang, gang, dude. I'm just swole. It's like I'm one of those dudes that looks like a cloud. You know what I mean? I'm the swole guy. Bring, bing, bring, bing, 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 bing. Oh, brother, <laughs> this guy stinks! I am not a bad guy. And just like this next song, I also do not do Zans. I do not do Zannies. I, I am unmedicated. <laughs> Can you not tell? What is it about them? I don't think I've actually heard I this one. I missing something. Ooh. They just keep doing nothing. Interesting choice with the jazz Don't drums. Oh, and oh, we're like sitting at a bar and she's singing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Coke. Coke. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, dude, no, I'm about to hit that th that shit she does, bro. Doesn't she do the... Silver Lake, Silver Lake. I must be missing something. She's all alone. At the end of it all. Oh, and it's just the harmonies. Whoa. Oh my God, that was an entire experience, bro. I feel like I just went on a trip. The harmony is the, at the end, just, just, just the way that all of the instruments just get sucked out and it's just her. God, doing what she just does so well. Just literally backbone. At one point in there, in the, in the bridge, it felt like we were in like a black and white movie. Smoking a cigarette on the sidewalk in like some like film noir setting. Verse one, what is it about them? It must be missing something. They just keep doing nothing. Too intoxicated to be scared. Talking about like maybe her friends. Better off without them. They're nothing but unstable. Bring ashtrays to the table. And that's the only thing that they share. Okay, yeah, just like you're all your friends just like all getting into drugs at the same time and you're just like, yeah, I'm just not into that shit. Like it's just not for me. Yeah, I respect it, dude. I'm in their secondhand smoke, still drinking canned Coke. Is this sponsored? Coca-Cola? Pepsi bottle, a Coca-Cola glass. I don't give a damn. I don't need a zanny to feel better. On designated drives home, only one who's not stoned. Don't give me a zanny now or ever. Promptly making this message of anti-drug. Wow. I love that, man. See, you don't have to have an entire name based around <laughs> zanny, zans. <laughs> Dude, it makes me think about Lil Zan and how he came out and he was just like, yeah, my, my music is definitely anti-drug. And he just like never really backed that up in any kind of way whatsoever. Waking up at sundown, they're too late to party. No one's ever sorry. Too inebriated now to dance. Morning as they come down. Okay, so this is just all about like her experience with her friends doing drugs and how she's just like not really about it. Don't try to kiss me on your cigarette break. Can't afford to love someone who isn't dying by mistake in Silver Lake. Kind of crazy. She mentioned Silver Lake. That's um oddly personal in a weird way. Also how she's saying that it doesn't even matter that it's if it's a Xan, if it's another recreational drug or even a cigarette. It doesn't matter. She doesn't want any part of it. She's not into it, bro. Not into it. Yo, leave her alone. The next one is You Should See Me in a Crown. If Billie Eilish is the queen, she is wearing the crown, I would be the court jester. I feel like I could get it. I feel like I could get that job. You're definitely gonna go throw tomatoes at me at least once. Bide my tongue, bide my time, wearing a warning sign. Wait till the world is mine. 
Okay. Just two chords. Oh. Oh. Yo, the sound design. Ocean eyes. Yo. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember this one. Oh. Watch me make them bow. I'm gonna be doing my, my gesturing. Oh, dude. Whoa! Yo, what is that sample? really do feel like every one of these songs are just full on like little A24 film movies, dude. It's like I'm plopping into Midsommar. There's a line in there where she says, silence is my favorite sound. And I love that she's very upfront with that because like so much of this production is rooted in like taking away aspects and like leaving space. I really love how Phineas is always like tuned in to like letting her vocals and like even like backing harmonies and like just special moments like ring true because they just deserve it, man. All the little detail put into every little aspect of like creeping and like the subtleties of, of certain areas. It's nice, man. It's really good. All of this creepy aesthetics and we haven't even talked about the cover art. Let's pull it up. Ah! Fuck. Ow. Jump scare. Jump scale. Her mind. Her mind. Scaring the living daylights out of me. <laughs> but uh, let's get into the next song. All the good girls go to hell. Oh no. Good thing I'm a bad boy. I'm sorry. My Lucifer is lonely. Oh, whoa. Standing there, killing time. Whoa, Can't wait a minute. But a Leaders on vacation. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That caught me so off guard. I wasn't expecting the bounce. The bounce. Let me get back in. Was that a church bell in the beginning? Was I going to communion? Ethel Kane? Where are you at? My Lucifer is lonely. What is that vocal effect? Standing there, killing time. Oh. Can't commit to anything but a crime. Oh, Either every instrument. An open a lot more production in this one that uh Animals. is like more straightforward Evidence. than the other ones. Pearly gates look more like a picky fence. Once you get inside, I've got friends but can't. Okay. All the good girls go to hell. Cause even got herself Got herself? And once the Can't stand them! Oh, the water's the rising! She want the devil on her team Ooh! Dude, that like super west coast sin? Oh my god, it fits perfectly! That's channeling some Eminem type energy. That's like a little bit of that like minor demonic scaling. Oh. oh wow. Oh, I hope that's a real bass, dude. I don't think it is though. It sounds too perfect. I cannot do the snowflake. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's just so cool to do, man. Like, when you have songs that are especially in this, like, really dark and, like, kind of scary, kind of, like, this is spooky energy, to kind of still feed in moments where you can see the artist's personality laughing, cutting up, having a good time. Clearly, they're not taking it too seriously. It just builds this whole image of, like, respect. At least for me, it does. Pearly gates look more like a picket fence. Once you get inside them, got friends but can't invite them. Oh my god. Kind of like, okay, okay. I get what she's kind of laying down here. I get what she's laying down. This is like the, the flip on the American dream kind of thing. Like, oh yeah, all of this shit that looks really pretty on the outside is actually balls. Let's get into the next one. What is it? Another complaint? I wish you were gay. I wish you were gay. All right. Well, you know what, Billy? Get in line. The amount of, of, of dudes here who probably wish I was gay and the DMs that I get. Holy shit. You'd think straight shaming was like a real thing. 
<laughs> Baby, I don't feel so good. Six words you never understood. Oh. I'll never let you go. Somebody sick? Five words you never say. Oh, are we going down? We're going six five. I just want to make you feel. Oh, okay. whoa. Dude, that's. But wow. All you do is look the other way. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with like the noise within the synth. How much I wish I didn't want to stay. Mm -hmm. Oh. I just kind of and the hammers? It's really cool how it like, you know, flips that perspective of like her vocals being so soft and kind of like tucked away a little bit, matching the, the chaotic energy with the production. It's cool, man. To give your lack of interest an Ooh, and this little bridge. Don't say I'm not your type. To say that I'm not your preferred sexual orientation. Okay, fitting that whole bar in there. Oh, with the acoustic outro too. But yes. Whoa! That wasn't even me. I mean, same. Whoa. 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 Dude, I was about to say, this track literally starts sounding like a damn H.T. Hayes video, dude, with all the sound effects popping in, doing whatever. She was running all through them riffs too, dude. This is nice. I was gonna say, I love the way that Phineas incorporates the swing into his drums. I know how much detail the production is, but like, dude, oh, just moving those little kicks over, just like one or two notches, just to accent that little pause a little bit more. God damn it, it's so sexy. Makes me wanna just take his face and just smooch him, or take his fingers and just smooch him, because he. I don't know. Okay, so now we're finally halfway over. The next is track eight with number eight. The actual next song is when the party's over. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I'm not even there. I'm not even there when the party's over, dude. I'm like a get in, get the, you know, hot dog on a on a, on a stick, munch on that one, say hey to a, a buddy or two, and then I'm back home by like 8.39, you know, you feel me? That's, that's what I'm kind of like. But okay, tell me about when the party's over. <laughs> God, is that you? Billy filling in? Don't know oh. No good for you. Oh, I know it. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I've learned to lose, you can't afford to. Oh my god, the stutter? Torn Whoa, what is that sin? To stop you beating. What's happening? What happened? But nothing ever stops you leaving. Oh, Phineas with the backing vocals. I could like, say I like it like that, like it like that. Whoa, the bass coming in. I could like, say I like it like that, like it like that. Oh, 
whoa, I'm welling up, dude. I'm gonna be real with you. I have obviously heard that song before, but like, I've never really paid attention to like the lyrics like that. Oh my God. Oh, that is so heartbreaking. Oh my God, it's so condensed, it's so short. She gets through everything so quickly. It it it, it almost is like an overflow of like the, the melody. The What oh, is that so melody? Good. A true moment like that, you know? Just building from this low moment all the way up through the, the chorus. Wow, oh my gosh. Don't you know I'm no good for you? I've learned to lose you, I can't afford to. Tore my shirt to stop you bleeding but nothing ever stops you from leaving. Giving a part of herself to assist, to help with the wound that you feel like you've inflicted on them, but still not being able to stop them from leaving the relationship. Oh my God. Ow, Billy. Jesus, that's a painful ass song. I can understand why you all kind of like flipped out in chat for, for me skipping it. I, I guess that is right, rightfully so. You are all valid. All right, let's get into figure eight. Ah, just eight. Just like Phineas just did. He just ate that shit up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Alvin? Let me finish. I know you. Is that you? Care, but can you listen? With this 2012 YouTube ukulele? Oh, whoa. Oh, I love the production. Oh, it's so. So I oh. think I better go. Where? I never really Where? How to play oh, you don't know either. I mean, that kind of echoes the album title, yeah? <laughs> Peace. I guess oh. I'm gonna go. Yeah, this is cute, man. This is cute. I just never know. Who said this is a skip? Okay, I can understand a little bit for how some people might have this as a skip. In the whole, like, frame of the album, you know, with how, like, serious and how, like, the production is very much in that dark tone and aesthetic, this does kind of feel a little jarring. Not really, though, to me, because I feel like it's nice to have a little break within, like, such a serious album. It's, again, echoing that same fact of, like, Billy and Finney being able to come together to make serious songs that, like, channel those super dark emotional feelings, but also being able to realize that this is a performance, this is an art form, this is not to be taken with super most sincerity, right? I think it's beautiful. I like the da-da-da's. I like the non-syllabic vocals, yes. Pour me another bowl of those, dude. Eight, eight. Next one, though, is called Strange Addiction. My Strange Addiction. Is that not a television show? I thought The Office was Billy's favorite television show. Where's The Office song? I'm trying to hear about goddamn Jim, dude. I'm trying to hear about Kevin <laughs> spilling that bowl, baby. I'm not trying to hear about dudes who are like sexually attracted to balloons. I mean, I know it's not the worst thing in the world, but like, you know. Let's hear about Billy's strange addiction. What is it? No, Billy, I haven't done that dance since my wife died. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, who was that? You're telling me that is the Mr. Michael Scott. It's Britney, bitch. The golden boy himself. You don't wanna know from my lesson. Oh, oh no. Come on now. Oh, just sliding between those two notes. Me. Oh, you flatter me, Miss Eilish. Ooh, is that a wolf in the background? Whoa! Oh my God. Is she on something in this? Oh 
my god, kiss my ass, gang. Festivals or carnivals. Well, that's a pretty good reaction. That's pretty cool. Right? What is that little spicy little guitar at the end? Oh! Did you like it? Did you like that? Uh, which part? <laughs> oh, me asking for validation over anything, literally ever. <laughs> Dude, what a fun little bop to put near like the second, like in the second half of the album, having this level of kind of like a bop is kind of unheard of. That is fire. I love this. It's like injected energy into my veins to keep me pumping. Bite my glass. Dude, is that supposed to be like a bite my ass reference? Set myself on fire. Holy shit. Can't you tell I'm crass? Can't you tell I'm wired? Tell me nothing lasts like I don't know. You could kiss my ass, gang, about my motto. Silly Billy. So silly. Oh my God. She mentions the Oxford comma. Dude, I literally just put an Oxford comma joke in the Sabrina Carpenter video. Holy shit, that is honestly so ironic to be talking to you, Belladonna. Should have taken a break, not an Oxford comma. Billy uses grammar as a metaphor to say that she should have stopped to take a break like the comma does instead of adding another thing to her list. Wow, what a song. The next one is bury a friend. Ooh, are we getting back into the demonic type of stuff? Is that what we're doing? Billy. Oh, who was that? Say it, spit it out. Ooh. What is it exactly? Your pain is the amount cleaning you out and my satisfactory. Today I'm thinking Ooh. about the scream. Things that are deadly. The Give me some I'm sound effects. Down, like I wanna jump, like I wanna end me. Step on the glass. Ooh, the vocals. Step your tongue. Oh. Bury a friend. Dude. Try to wake this is the up. definition of ear candy. Ooh. Dude, this is a, an entire film production. Whoa! Oh my god, the music videos are gonna go crazy. What do you want from me? Why don't oh, you want from and then you bring it back. Are you wondering why do you know? Why I'm just living with me? Why do you care for me? When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Okay, so it says here that the, the the little spoken word stuff is from a London-based SoundCloud rapper, Alvin Adrian Parkinson, also known as Makey Rain. It's good, bro. Dude, can you imagine Billy on some drill shit? Some UK drill? Oh my God. Duh. We're gonna get back into it. The next song is... I-L-O-M-I-L-O. -I -I is this one of those anagram kind of things? Is that what this is? It's a cute one. Told you not to worry. Ooh. But maybe that's a lie. Oh, the, the tempo's to hurry. different on this one. Won't you stay inside? Like a heart. Oh, the bells. Where did you go? It's so cute. No. almost like a classical influence okay some more stutter dude they love that stutter holy shit do they love it a little too much a little too much i don't know oh my god Puzzle box, dude. Getting a lot of sad energy from this, especially with the whole like, where'd you go? Opening the chorus with a question. Mysterious, where did you go? And to be honest with you, the where'd you go, the where are we going? It's all been 
throughout the entire album too. She likes to ask questions, especially in the title as well. They're never gonna give you love like ours. Where'd you go? Oh, so the first verse is more like a warning to not leave, to hold on to this love, this relationship, and then the chorus, inevitably, they leave and they're gone. Where'd you go? I should know, but it's cold. And I don't wanna be so lonely because you show me the way home and I can't lose another life. Can't lose another person. Damn, this is some depressed ass shit, bro. Are we getting into the sad energy after this one? It's it's one of those puzzles that you put together and it's like you think it's going to be like a, a happy scene and then it's just like a catastrophe. Elo and Milo. Oh wait, no, it is Elo and Milo. Small round characters on set. Okay, I got to look at these little f shit. Oh, okay. They're cute. These are super cute. They know exactly why I'm here. It's no surprise. Getting into, I guess, the last few songs on the album, we have Listen Before I Go. All right, well, we've been pondering where to go this entire time, and finally, we've got a direction. We've got a heading. Nami, where are we going? Tell me love is endless. Don't be so pretentious. Leave me Damn. like you do. I mean, bro, I... <sighs> Need I even go over this one? She's painting the picture of jumping off a roof, yeah. All with goddamn Foley sounds, cinematics included. Jesus, bro. I mean, how do you hold yourself together while, like, recording this? Like, how do you just not break down in tears every couple, <laughs> like, like, words? Like, I know how she does her vocals. I saw the interview and everything with how she stacks them and how she, like, comps everything. Super smart. It would be necessary for this song. Oh, God. All right. Well, I can only imagine that we're only getting sadder through this. <laughs> so, oh, the next song is called I Love You. Whoa. That almost sounded like the Mario intro for a second. Did it not? Dun 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 dun. Oh no, that's not Mario. That's Zelda. Did it not sound like? Did that not sound sound like the Zelda intro? Bum bum ba bum bum ba bum 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 ba bum 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 ba bum 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 ba. Tell me I've been lied to. No, all truth tr truthers over here. <laughs> First time here, crying is very like me. Maybe won't you take it back Say you were trying to make me laugh And nothing else to change today You didn't mean to say I love you Whoa, whoa, lift me up from the, from the dirt I love you And I don't context of just the last song before it, her falling, and the one thing she starts to think about before she passes on. 
is them, the one we've been fighting with, the one we've been trying to uh, feel something with this entire time. Oh, 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 you bitch, you little bitch. Look what you've done to me. You've reduced me to a puddle. I will be strong. I will hold myself together. I will be good heading in to the finale of the album. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Ooh, coming in with the stacks. Oh, the chromatics. This. Okay, some barbershop energy. From, yes. That's literally what I just said. Oh, the babies. The babies, the baby, the children. You're not. Oh, they're not dropping. They're not dropping, folks. Ah, oh, suck those tears back up, baby. Going back all through these songs at the end of this album with the symbolism of like the the jump is kind of echoing the fact of like your whole life playing before you. Beautiful, dude. Well, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for Billie Eilish's debut album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? So thank you. If you made it all the way through, like and subscribe. You know the drill. Check out the Patreon if you want to see this entire thing uncut, unedited. We also have the documentary, including music videos for all of this album over on Patreon. I will be writing a review for this album as well on AOTY dot org slash my username right there it's gonna be in the link in the description I'm trying to take it a little bit more seriously honestly writing reviews but as always stay happy healthy and strong and i'll see you in the peace